So to frame the context for today's discussion, can you tell us a little bit about how uh, marketers are effectively using webinars within the buying cycle? Yeah, I think that most marketers are comfortable with the front end of the buying cycle or the awareness stage, if, if you will. Webinars have been a demand generation tool since their inception. But what we're seeing the modern marketer do is find a way of using the webinar and have that corporate voice throughout the buying cycle all the way down to the decision point. I spoke to one marketer who said if they're doing their job right, that all sales reps are gonna do is negotiate contracts. <laughs> sure. So it's a perfect world and webinars have just one role to play within there. But with a complex B2B sell like we talked about, um, I think it was in the clip and on the last webinar, right. the webinar is just a great way of, of um, basically explaining that story that helps buyers get from just knowing who you are down to being in a position where they're ready to sign a contract. So knowing that, you know, can you talk a little bit about what this marketing funnel looks like then? Yeah. So what we're referencing today uh, basically is, I think you've probably seen the graphic, it's going to be on the slide beside me, but you know, the awareness, consideration, evaluation, and then the purchase or the decision stage. Sure. And so although you got a lot in your toolkit and today at the Digital Marketing Conference, they're going to be talking about a lot of different things, the webinar does have a role to play there. So for the context of where we're going to go today, we're going to talk about the role at awareness. We're going to talk about how it relates to generating leads, how it can help nurture leads, uh, build preference, and in the end, persuade selection. Um, so then let's start right from the top. Let's start with the awareness stage of this funnel here. Yeah. So at the awareness stage, we're talking about generating leads. And if you look at the other things you have available in your toolkit for awareness. I mean, there's your website, there's your SEO, your social media strategy, maybe analyst relations. That gets your name out there and people know who you are and, and what you're all about. Very important, clearly, in, in the role as a marketer. But once you've got them to that point where they know who you are, you want to find out who are these people. Are you reaching the people who know who you are, are they the people you want to sell to? Right. And that's where the webinar comes in. Okay. Clearly a webinar captures a lot of data and so and gives you a lot of information on those people. So are you hitting the right people? Are they watching and are they engaged with your content? That's what the webinar can bring to the to the awareness side of the equation. Okay, and that's a good point. So what type of content should we be thinking about when we're looking at the awareness stage here? Awareness is generally your thought leadership, okay. right? So if you've done any sort of uh, benchmark reports or indexes, market analysis, stuff you've done with um, analyst partners. Kind of just like our last session. <laughs> exactly, like our last session, right? Cool. So the State of the Union was basically extrapolating the benchmark data from 2014 to let marketers know what they should expect from their webinar program. Sure. So what did I get from that? <laughs> I mean, anyone who watched it knew that uh, I knew were interested in webinars in general, either had a program or trying to get a get a program going. Sure. And and then further to that, because of um, the fact that it is a webinar, I got a little bit of information on their organization and where they're from to do research before you know I can decide to remarket to them or or, or call them back. Right. So you know they might have known about me because I was at the Demand Metric Virtual Summit but I don't know who's there or directly interested in it. Having the webinar was what allowed me to understand that.